So what's the deal with summer fragrances? Why do we even have this as a category? Seriously, why can't this be more simple? Why can't you have one fragrance that gets the job done in all situations? The short answer is that some fragrances are just better suited to different temperatures, different environments. Let's take Dolce & Gabbana as the one. Absolutely love this fragrance. But this fragrance, when you wear it, it makes you feel warmer. And do you want to feel warmer when it's already 40 degrees Celsius outside, aka 104 degrees Fahrenheit? No, you're already sweating hot. You don't want to put this on your body. I'm laying out the best summer fragrances that every man needs to own. Bulgari's Aqua Pour Homme. So this is an aquatic citrus. We're going to get uh, top notes, very aquatic. It's going to smell like the ocean. You're going to get a bit of citrus. So from orange, I think mandarin orange is what I'm picking up here. Now, after a few minutes, you're also going to be able to pick up a bit of lavender. And as you get to the dry down, you're going to start to pick up cedar. Overall, this is an amazingly versatile fragrance that you're going to be able to use in casual situations. If you need to wear a suit and it's incredibly hot, this right here is just going to make you feel refreshed and it's hard to go wrong with this fragrance. That being said, it can be a bit generic. So if you're looking for something slightly different, definitely check out the flankers right here. Both of these amazing. Now, speaking of flankers, let's talk about an amazing fragrance that's probably inspired over 30 flankers, and that is Issey Miyake's Le Dessay Pour Homme. So, this fragrance right here, what really separates it from all the other citrus fragrances out there is the Yuzo. So, if you're not familiar, this is an Asian citrus that you're going to see in Japan, parts of China, Korea. It's a sour citrus. Now, that may not sound great, but when you try this, if you've never tried it before, it's like, wow. Another great thing about this fragrance is it can last a long time. This Thing you can put on and citruses normally they'll die in the summer especially high heat couple hours this citrus right here can last for six to eight hours now there's also going to be a little bit of blue lotus and vetiver vetiver is a grass but uh, it's going to be something i find is very smooth fragrance not going to be for everyone but an amazing one if you've never tried it you should definitely give this one a shot and FYI, in case you don't know what a flanker is, imagine that they take that original fragrance, they keep a part of the DNA, and then they create other fragrances which are similar. So two of my favorites from that same line right here, we've got the Le Dessay uh, Pour Homme Wood Wood, and it's not an overpowering wood. It's actually a very refreshing wood, one that I can wear during the summer, and also Oceanic Expedition. This one, I've just started wearing an actual, I just love it. It's very lightweight. So again, a flanker is just a variation of an existing classic fragrance. Next up on this list, we got a couple fragrances from the John Varvatos line. My first one right here is the Artisan Pure. Four different types of citrus. We've got Mandarin. I believe we've also got Clementine, Lemon, Lime, and it's also got a few different types of grasses. So, it's a very clean, a very fresh fragrance. Now, the other fragrance I have here is the John Varvatos Artisan EDT. This one's slightly different. So, it's a little bit sweeter. It doesn't have the lemon. It doesn't have the lime. Instead, it's got the tangerine along with an orange blossom. What I really like about this one is when it dries down, it's got a bit of a musk. So, it's not an animalistic musk. It's actually a very clean musk. So, this is something that I absolutely love wearing during the summer. And of course, I want to give you guys a little bit more value. So, in the evenings or if it's a cooler day, guys, you could try either the John Varvatos Oud which to me is a very gentle oud. It's not going to be overpowering. Or if you want to stand out a bit more, check out their John Varvatos Dark Rebel Rider. Absolutely love this fragrance. It takes a little bit more courage to be able to pull this one off. You don't want to wear it on a hot summer day, but on a cool summer evening, this is amazing. Now, gents, over the last year, I bought and tested over 200 fragrances. And one of the worst things, buying a fragrance you don't like and getting stuck with it. Because a lot of times, if you use the fragrance, you can't return it. So, imagine if for the fraction of a cost of a full bottle, you could date a fragrance for a month. Seriously, get enough in one sample size for 140 sprays. Well, gents, you don't have to imagine a service like this because Scentbird, the sponsor of today's video, has already created it. Guys, I've talked about them for years because I love what these guys are doing. They're making it easy for you to test fragrances to build up your collection without going out there and spending money on bottles that you're never going to actually use. And gents, they've got some amazing fragrances from Dolce & Gabbana, Tom Ford, Gucci, those John Varvatos fragrances I was talking about. You can find them over on Scentbird, Bracken Man by Homage. So, if you're not familiar with the House of Homage, an amazing story, basically over in Oman, the royalty said, hey, we're going to make the best fragrances in the world and we're going to spend as much money as we need to take to make those amazing fragrances. And that's exactly what they did. So, there were tons of amazing Homage fragrances. I really like Bracken Man because it's a green fajur. Basically, this is an aromatic fragrance that, yeah, when you smell it, you feel like you're walking into a forest. Incredibly powerful. And if Bracken Man doesn't sound good for you, if you want something stronger, you want something more powerful, then go check out Journeyman, Imitation.
Elimination Man, Fate Man, Honor Man. Tons of options when it comes to homage. In addition, they've got Clive Christensen. And guys, to make this even easier, when you click on that link down in the description and go over to Scentbird, I've got the top summer picks right there for you. So right from their website, you can grab whatever you want. Next up, we've got Dunhill Icon, Neroli, Bergamot, Black Pepper, and Iris. This is a great fragrance, I think, for any guy that simply wants to smell good. The bottle is just beautiful. Now, in the dry down, there's a bit of oud and vetiver. I barely picked that up. That's one thing I would say is a weakness of this fragrance is the dry down. But the top notes, it's very fresh. It's very clean. And for me, actually, I do get more of the dry down if I use more of the fragrance. I'll easily spray five to six times. And uh, yeah, I still love it. Next up, we've got the workhorse that is Burberry Touch. So if you just need a go-to fragrance for the summer, you don't want to think about it, this is an easy buy right here. I would say you can even blind buy this. Now, a lot of people say, oh, it's got violet in it. It also has a bit of pepper. It's even got the musk. Tonka bean, is this going to be a good combination for me? I don't know what it is about that combination, but it just works. But is it going to really help you stand out from the crowd? Maybe not so much. And that's a good thing sometimes. You just want a fragrance that does its job and works in the heat. Now, speaking of a versatile fragrance, and this one doesn't get any love from the community, and that is Dolce & Gabbana's K. So, this one I've talked about before, I think they misnamed it. Because when you think of a king fragrance, you think of something that's very powerful, something that's super strong, and this is is not, but it is incredibly versatile. This is another go-to fragrance that is really just a dumb blind reach. So, when we first spray the fragrance, what you're going to pick up is the juniper berry and the citruses. A wide variety of different citruses in there. So, lemon, lime. Uh, I know that there's also blood orange. Um, just a really crisp, clean fragrance right there at the top. As it starts to dry down, and that takes about a couple hours, you're going to start to pick up the vetiver more, and that's what's going to stick around. This will probably in just a few hours disappear, uh, and then the vetiver is going to be left there with just a little bit of cedar at the base. But, um, you know, I again feel this is one of those fragrances that I don't mind that it disappears after a few hours because just buy yourself a slightly bigger bottle and spray a bit more on. Now, some of you guys are saying, come on, Antonio, give me something more elegant. I want something I can wear with a suit in hot weather. Well, gentlemen, look no farther than Chanel. Ohm Sport. So, right here we've got the classic Ohm Sport and then we've got the Ohm Sport Extreme. Either one, in my opinion, is going to suffice for what you're going for. You're going for something that has a bit of the citrus along with a little bit of a creamy, I don't know, they add a little bit of vanilla in on this and it just works. Along with the aquatic fragrance, this is like waking up next to an orange orchard on the Mediterranean on a hot day and it's just that refreshing breeze coming off. So, if you're looking for something elegant, Chanel just knows how to make it happen. So, check out these fragrances. Now, at this point, you're like, come on, Antonio, load me up on some value. I saw a lot of the fragrances you got back behind you. I want to know, what are your favorite aquatics? Well, guys, of course, Aqua Digio. This one has been around. It's a classic or you can go with the Profumo. This one lasts a little bit longer. But both of these right here, just amazing aquatic fragrances that you cannot go wrong with. But let's say you're on a little bit more of a budget. Yeah, you uh, just simply don't have the money to spend on that one. Then check out Manor Fresh Versace, another one that is a classic fragrance. And yeah, it's talking about. It's everyone, you know, raves about it, but that doesn't mean that you should not have this in your collection. An amazing fragrance. And speaking of a fragrance that gets talked about all the time, Cool Water by Davidoff. Now, it gets talked about for good reason. It's a solid summer fragrance. Also, at an incredibly low price. So, just look for it out there. Also, right here, no one talks about this one, but I really like, uh, so, Corum Aqua. What I really like about this one is if you like Polo Sport, this is its big, stronger brother. So, you like a little bit of sour. You really liked what you had in Polo Sport. Guys, go try this one at a fraction of the cost. You get something, in my opinion, that's even better. Now, what about Nautica fragrances? I think they're fine as long as you know what you're getting. This thing is going to die very quickly. So, it's a very light fragrance. If you are okay with reapplying it every couple hours, then go for it. But what I would recommend is you check out Bentley Azure. No one talks about this one and it's a much stronger fragrance. It's a blue cream, just very crisp fragrance that I absolutely love and yeah, no one talks about. Now, what about an aquatic fragrance that you're going to get compliments from the ladies? Gentlemen, 
I want you to check out Invictus Aqua. This is by Paco Rabanne, came out in 2018, flew under the radar, but this has to be one of the sexiest fragrances out there. And I think it's it's like one of those things, you look at the notes and there's nothing super interesting about them. You've got the aquatic, you got the violet, you got a little bit of a grapefruit. And I don't know what it is about that combination. Maybe it's the ambergris down at the bottom, uh, a little bit of the wood. It just has a little bit of an animalistic feel after you get into the dry down. And this will get compliments like no other. Next up, we've got Lacoste L1212 White. And some people are going to say this fragrance is generic. I don't know what the heck they're talking about. This thing is absolutely amazing. The first time I got my nose on this, I was like, wow, this is clear. This is clean. And then I put it on my body and it is amazing. It's got that Lang Lang, which comes out of India, the grapefruit. Yeah, I just don't find it generic at all. I find it amazing. So, if you haven't tried this one out, go check it out. So, we're getting up to the top of the list and now I wanted to talk about the House of Creed. Many of you guys are going to be happy to know that I'm not picking Creed Aventus to be even on this list. An amazing fragrance. But, you know, am I going to put it in my top 10 summer, or even my top 15 summer? Probably not because I think there were so many other great options from this house. I would really recommend if you haven't checked out Royal Water, just very simple, very clean. One of my favorites from that house, Original Vetiver. Another amazing, if you like Vetiver, this is the one that you need to try. Also, Neroli Sauvage. Nobody talks about this one. I love this one. It doesn't last a super long time, but I, you know, it's just a beautiful fragrance. And let's talk about Himalaya. So, I've got to give a hat tip to my friend Chad over at A Gentleman's Journey. He introduced me to Himalaya. Absolutely love this one. I've probably worn this one already three times just in summer, just started. But it is Erolfa that I'm going to have on the top of this list. And for me, a great fragrance always has a story. And this one, I just love the story behind the name, which you can look up yourself. But I will tell you that when I think of this fragrance, I do think of sailing on the Mediterranean with my family and just eating fruit. Now, at this point, I've got some honorable mentions that did not make this list, but I think are still great summer fragrances that I will be wearing this summer. First up, Ideal. Uh, Le Homme Ideal Sport by Guerlain. And this one, it's the almond. It really sets it apart and it's a lighter fragrance. I know some people don't like it. I absolutely love this one here. Not really ever talked about. Prada Luna Rosa, a unique, just really a workhorse fragrance. And I think if you look around, you can actually find it at a relatively affordable price. Right here, Polo Red Extreme, a little bit sweeter, but I just love this fragrance and it works. We've also got Galloway from Parfums de Marly. It's a very nice fragrance that I'll be wearing more of. And finally, we've got uh, YSL's Y. And uh, so, this one right here, a lot of people give it a lot of flack, but I've got right here the EDP version. So, the EDP a little bit stronger and I love the apple note. The apple note just really makes this a very friendly fragrance. So, if you see this and yeah, you're reading all the bad reviews, ignore them. Go try it for yourself. So, coming in at number one on my list, gentlemen, and I bet nobody saw this coming, Dior's Higher. So, this fragrance right here, nobody talks about it. But I tried it just on a blind buy and I have to admit, I absolutely love it. What I like about it, it's incredibly light and the top notes are very unique. Pear mixed in with peach, we got a little bit of basil, but overall, this is just a light, clean fragrance, which for me is what I'm looking for this summer to be able to spray on sometimes multiple times a day because this stuff is not going to last all day, but it does at the dry down get a little bit of a musk in here. So, I really like that, but it's not overpowering. This is the type of fragrance I was looking for and that's what I want to stress, gentlemen, is that you can't always rely on reviews. You need to go out there and try the fragrances yourself to find the one that you are absolutely going to love. So, what video to watch next? Gents, how about how to apply fragrance? So, many guys mess this up. I make it very very simple to understand where to apply the fragrance, how much to apply. Guys, check out this video right here. It's a very simple tutorial that I think you're going to enjoy.